Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I'm Frost PDP, and today we are playing Brigandine Grand Edition. This is Leonia Crossed Episode 15. We're playing the Cross Mod for Grand Edition. And uh, last episode, we we learned we were facing off all of this defensively instead of attacking, and I quickly realized Haley is also a sea maid. That makes her super freaking dangerous. Uh, so, well, let's see. This is the defensive formation I formed. I know I'm kind of trusting Ryzen to hold one, two, three melee spots on his own. I'm not sure I should. Really doesn't seem like they're trying to flank me too hard. That's the surprising thing. It really looks like they're going to charge right at me. Which, I mean... Please, follow the road, folks. Let me just barbecue you. I put her on the castle because she's the most vulnerable, I think. Uh, she's probably the less powerful because magic tends to scare the AI and also because uh yeah Geno Fire tends to be scary to the AI. As it stands his Geno Fire range is really one two one two three. So we can only hit out to here. So if they make a charge for up my northern end they avoid the magic. They'd also sort of be blocking my lizards up. That's okay. I think we're good. Let's, uh... I'm not afraid of a soft save here. Or whatever this is. See, sometimes I'm so used to, like, CK2 campaigns, where you're on Iron Man and there's no going back, that I forgot, like, oh yeah, I can actually save, and if this goes really badly, I can just not be defeated. <laughs> it's a thing that I can do. I'm preserving the bolt, plus archery, plus, like, magic support I can wrap if they come up this way and I can if they try to go up to the north end I mean Ryzen holding a lot of fire on his own I'm not convinced that that's ideal I keep thinking it's Insufis and it's not. That's kind of a thing I need to be aware of. Can I buff any of my units before this? No. How likely is it? So, a Holy Breath here wouldn't be that bad an idea, all things considered. That was when I had to pop out. Think about this for a second, Frost. Nothing can get there. Except this. This can get there. So can this thing. So he's gonna actually possibly soak a melee attack? Nah, I can't have that. Hmm. 
That may have been a huge mistake. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Mmm, man. That's really bad. Hmm. Wow, that's a dick move. Yeah, you know what? Let's try it that other way. <laughs> uh, you could call this squirreling if you want. I want to see what's going to happen if I leave the defense the other way. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely curious to know, like, what happens if... And considering this is literally how you have to fix a bug in this mod, like... I shouldn't link it to the mod, but I feel like it's sort of a built-in feature for a reason. Oops, forgot the shield. Let's see if maybe that changes the AI entirely. A little bit, yeah. Definitely different targeting. Now the AI wigged out and put... Well, she's a sea maid, so I guess it's not that big a deal, but... Ooh. Interesting. Wants to be cursed, I see. Glad we hit that. Ooh. Going after my little iceman. By the way, that red dragon is dead and a half. Maybe. He's fast. Ooh, hello. Yeah, line me up, why don't you? Force that. Nice. Ouch. Huh, that's sweet. Alright, how do I kill you all? Alright, so they've got big heels. No getting around that. And they're being sensible enough to actually keep their commanders in the back. Which is frustrating. You have to forgive me. I need to kill this thing, too. I need to kill both angels this turn, if possible. And the dragon as well. That all needs to die. I mean, everything in this line needs to die. The fact that this is... Bamboozled is, like... A major problem for me. Unfortunately, having this, the frost spell available doesn't justify... Sacrificing his ability to attack. Curse and a punch ought to kill this. Breath this way. Breath that way. I've got twangs. Two shots of this. is That's the thing. I'm deciding what I'm going to spend this ammunition on. 
if anything. It doesn't look like I have a good target here. Other than to soften up a unicorn. Genoflame is actually viable here, so Chantal is going to be getting some XP's, it looks like. Hmm. It's a scary thought. Now, I do need to frost this dragon here. There's no getting around that. Magic, curse, curse, curse. Two forty nine. Attack, mega blow, seventy one. Ninety seven. Special. I know it's all off element, but I really want to seize on that damage to that angel. It's vital to my survival. Oh, this bum gets to go first. That's okay. You can stack more units up for me to blast. Like himself, because he's an idiot. I should do that. What does he have? Oh, shoot. That's one, two, three. Oh, God. He's hard to kill. Alright. You have... Little twang goes there. First off, I have to just unload all of my firepower right off the bat. Actually pretty effective. Oh man, I almost killed him. Gets the castle heal. That's 100. That fills her up. She doesn't need to heal. She's down 100. The dragon must die. If I don't kill it now, it won't die. Uh, he can move here. He's good. Um, take the shot. That'll get a kill. Can maybe kill the dragon. Who knows? This isn't a situation where I'm getting a night kill. I can't play it like it is. I'm crippling their offense. I'm not actually killing them in their entirety. You know what I mean? 
So with that said, I am killing off their mainline heels and definitely one of their big artillery pieces. Leaves them with a lot to hit me with, but a lot less to hit me with. Then I turn this into a war of attrition. Do this. Some things are just gonna have to be at risk. That's all there is to it. We know we're using this shot, we might as well use this shot now. It's not gonna hurt the angel that much, but that's okay. The rest can just take whatever damage they take. It's a level 8 dragon, it's pretty powerful actually. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Magic, Geno Fire will hit one, two, three creatures. That's really inefficient use of Geno Fire. But if it can be used to kill two things. Actually, not bad. Conserve the ammo? It's an option. If I go in non elemental, I'll just hurt them both about the same. It'll probably mean kill the freaking fire giant. Giant dragon, and yes, it did. Alright, he's single blue. So actually, I mean, this guy's gonna get lit up pretty bad. Might even die. actually found a way to be very inefficient about this. And still gonna lose the gin. So there goes all the XP in from that dragon, basically. Uh, or that'll happen. Holy! I could not have anticipated that. That I couldn't have either, I guess. They're not holding back, are they? Oh, that's bullshit. Ugh, <laughs> oh, this is awful.
Yeah, losing the demon sucked. I liked it very much. I'm asking myself, in all sincerity, how killable is Geriant? He's really not, is he? He's certainly pretty much better positioned for a uh, Genofire. All right, what could Lance do? Can he still heal? He can still heal. Will he heal? I do know that if I don't commit to retreat, I absolutely have to fight the rest of this turn. I can't be like, oh, time to run with Chantiel's army, like... I have to fight this turn. Alright, with that understanding, I probably don't even want to try to hurt Haley. But would rather get him here. You have 268 hit points. I am within range of Jerrion's current positions, the best I can hope for when it comes to that. Uh, somehow suspect that punching Haley in the face is a bad idea. Could it be a good idea to just mass heal? Yes, it is. Definitely seems like it could be. It's not much, but it tops things off. Just sit there. Ouch. Oh, they're gonna take advantage of this, aren't they? Forgot about that, didn't I? Well, that hurts a lot. You know, this guy's still alive, and I really all of a sudden need him to survive as much as possible. But, oh my god. Alright, so I know he's dead, it's just a question of how and when. I'm not going to have a lot of heals to spare for him. Oh man, 7 HP. Seven HP.
199 and paralyzed. That's useful. The only way to hit him is to hit him. Killing that demon just threw the rest of this battle, man. Go to hell. Uh-huh. This doesn't work, we're toast. Yes! Yeah, but you're down, bro. Obviously, at least one heal has to go to Ryzen. to a level on you. 71, you will be level 2 if you win this battle. Either way, you might soak an extra hit. So at this point, you're preventing them from getting around at my more valuable units. So, deal. Dead. That too. I'm thinking of sticking around, huh? Yeah? That's not good. That might really be about all I can do to him. I mean, if I can kill off his healers, I still have a lot of ammo with this guy. Still got a full strength Thunderbird pretty much here. And now I have Mermen I can start to deploy into combat. Hmm. 
What if I ignore Haley and just kill Lance? Also, killing that level 10 Fafner might be a good target to hit. But I also might want to kill the unicorn to pull that off. Plus... So I couldn't do what I was thinking of doing. You're a nuisance, but not a crisis. You're a problem because you've got to heal, and a heal is how you're going to stay alive. He's actually out of heals. She's got full MP, though. Problematic. It's doable. Whatever, you're relatively disposable anyway. We just have to send Langborg around on a run. I wanted to rebuild the army exactly the same composition. I mean, I could save the magic. He also might die next turn. Technically, I can surround Haley and start pummeling her, too, but with that 323 attack, I don't want to be anywhere near her. Sides. Now we have this problem to deal with. We're committed. Ah, seven short. Just come here. Take a swing. Hey, congrats, you hit. Cool. Could probably actually kill that. Oh, he's got a vampire fang. That's new. This guy's dead. Or not. Nice job. Ouch. Weak sauce. Mm. You're seriously? I was about to say, like, what? Like, he did just put himself in Geno Belt range. I can't make that happen for sure. And that's the problem with it. So it'd be definitely Geno Flame, rather. I meant Exit Blast, by the way, but sometimes I say the wrong word. Unless I have Bolt, or unless I have Frost. I do have Frost. And Lance has to die. 
So although it's telling me he's green, I actually should have used red. That makes no sense. Please hit. Yeah. Either I'll get experience from it. Or I'll kill it. That was probably not a good thing, a good plan. No chance I can just find a unit and flat out get it killed against something. Magic heal. Get more versatility in this battle, I suppose. <clears throat> You're basically Ryzen's pocket heals. going to heal this dude who's got 180 left because he's the most likely to die. And I'm fairly certain things are going to start dying shortly. Starting with my units. 107. Not horrible. Could technically have backed her off and put a wounded unit on to heal. It's a thing I could have done because she's full health. But she only has a sh move shoot range of two, so she's kind of constricted to this anyway. So let's see how this plays out. Yeah, 51. That's about right. Okay. So you... Punch my dude. That hurts. Oh, you stunned him. Lovely. Ah, seven hit points. I should have freaking shot that. Haley has it too. She ran. Nice. That thing's dead. It's a hundred percent hit chance, so I might as well. 
That's unfortunate. Now it's probably dead. So close. That's also dead. Neat. Just gonna run? Please run. Or just kill all my dudes. That's fine. Lance realizes he could probably kill us all. Nope. <laughs> oh man, that hurts. <laughs> That's a victory, but it really doesn't feel like a victory. To keep the hide, I kept the dragons alive. That's interesting. All right, we got a weaver. It could be useful. I don't know. We'll see. That's the end, huh? Alright, because that attack against me voided my combat. Wish I had that demon there. What can we summon here? See, the thing that makes the mermen useful is they have the, uh... You know, I mean, I know you know, but you know. The, uh... Frost on them at such a low level. A low rune cost. How, uh... So... Ninety five here. idea. Hmm. I did my math wrong. That's okay. All these quick little guys. from here to be honest. I'm kinda surprised we won Lenny. Not that surprised, but definitely was a good job. Uh so that's fifty five? Need a bunch of these. I just need an army that I can temp in that castle for a turn. I don't really need too much. 
30. Five short of deploying another one. Let's see if I can't find five. Watch that. This is a powerful position defensive army like nothing is getting through here this is on lockdown this uh dude who could be maybe more effective he's gonna go on a little walk down to lydney I'm really surprised nobody attacked Aston. Oh wait, I guess I'm not. I mean, if 10 more, I got a really good XP shot, right? I mean, this is 80. This is 45. I could probably use a lizard guard somewhere. Maybe a Marid. Thunderbird, who knows? I'll just summon a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, holy dragons really aren't that powerful pound for pound versus hydras in this mod. I mean, they kind of are, but they're kind of not. Not for the rune cost differential, really. I mean, I guess vanilla is not much better, if at all, so. That crit rate increase is important. These little guys can be formed up on the wings and sent out to do missions. You know what? I can have another uh, Hellhound. Why so many Hellhounds? I guess because it's... First of all, it's dark instead of light, so that's fine. I already had one. Who's the better of you two? Can I actually get two? Eh, damn, ten short. Mm-hmm. Sure, there could be a way.
Well, I'm around with this. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, whatever buttons really just help the channel grow. It lets me know what you're watching so I can keep making more of it. And as always on this channel, La Paz.